Greetings and good day. This is Donnie with TechWinner, and thank you so much for joining me. Well, guys, I recently did a thing. I did a video about Ring Alarm Pro and how they have these new power packs that you can add to the Ring Alarm Pro that add some additional value if the power ever goes out, and basically it continues to allow that device to continue to work with its cellular backup. But one of the things I mentioned towards the end of that video was there are other options out there called UPSs. Yes, uninterruptible power supplies, which also could have the added benefit of like taking care of like your cable modem, your fiber modem, any other technology you want to plug into it as well. So guys, I invested in an APC UPS and check out the load test and I can't wait to show these results of exactly how long this thing lasted. So without any further ado, let's dive in and let's take a look. So if you've ever dealt with a power outage, you know exactly the frustration that happens when you can't take advantage of even some of your other technology that has batteries built into it, like tablets, like phones, like laptops. Basically, they're dead in the water. You may be able to use your hotspot, but sometimes the cell service might not be super great in your area and it would be ideal to be able to continue to use your home's modem to be able to connect to the internet. And guys, that's where investing in a UPS, a uninterruptible power supply, totally comes into play and can add significant value to your home setups. Now granted, I'll tell you right now, I live in an area of the country where we don't deal with a ton of power outages. I can count on one hand the number that I've had in this home that I've been living in now for two and a half years. It doesn't happen often, and it's usually very short when it does happen. But at least in my experience, I can tell you that it happens at the most inopportune times. Typically, it's gonna be during a storm. I happen to live in a part of the United States where tornadoes happen to be fairly common. So the last thing you want to have happen is a power outage happen. You're sitting in your safe place in your home. You've got your phone pulled up. You're streaming the live weather coverage, and all of a sudden you lose your internet connectivity because at least in my experience, what happens during those storms also is that cell coverage, those towers typically get overloaded. Everybody's trying to get on them. So if I can keep away from having to use my 5G or my LTE, I would rather do that and continue to use my home Wi-Fi. And guys, this is where APC really comes into play and where they absolutely shine. They have been a player in battery backup for a very long time, both in commercial use and in home use. It's just something that a lot of us have never even thought about investing in. Not gonna kid you, had a little bit of birthday money sitting aside and I needed to have a project and this was the project that I decided to take on. So I did a little bit of research and decided to get what they call their back UPS. Yes, backups, totally a dad joke. Thanks APC, whoever came up with that branding and this is their 1000 series. Did some research, looked at several different places that actually sell it, Staples, Best Buy, Amazon, all had it between 150 and $170, and actually Office Depot, which actually happens to also be a little closer to my home, had it for sale for 130. So I went and bought it off the shelf and brought it home that afternoon, plugged it in and started testing. So this 1000 VA model that I'm talking about here, as you can see, has basically four outlets on the side that will continue to get battery back up, and then an additional four outlets on the right side that will work through basically a surge protector. Now, the one thing I will point out about this as well, as you're looking at this, they're very close together, and if you're like me, you have power bricks for plugging stuff in, and this shape is not ideal. I found myself in one situation using a three-pronged, very short, like one foot extension cable that I had to be able to plug everything in and make it all fit like I wanted it to. But looking at that battery backup side, basically I had three things that I wanted to plug in. And as you can see here, I have my AT&T fiber modem. This is the actual modem that takes the AT&T signal and converts it into something useful that I can use in my home. And then off of that is this white box that's on the wall. It's called an ONT. That's an optical network terminal. That terminal is what takes fiber that's coming in from the street and converts it into ethernet, passes it along to the AT&T modem. Personally, I'm not a fan of using these carriers modems also as like my Wi-Fi router. So I have a wireless mesh system in my home. And as you can see, this third piece here is my primary Google Wi-Fi mesh hub. Now, just for the sake of simplicity, anytime you hear me talk about Google Wi-Fi from here on out, I'm gonna call it a puck because it's shaped kind of like a really tall looking puck. Now, in my setup, I have five of these Google Wi-Fi pucks. 
but in a power outage, really, I just need to be able to have some sort of Wi-Fi signal. I don't necessarily need to cover my entire home and all of my property like I do right now, but I at least wanna have what I would call a minimal viable product, an MVP, where I still have some connectivity in place. Is it going to be the best on the opposite end of my house is what I have with power? No. Is it better than nothing? Absolutely. So when I first plugged in this UPS, it was at about 66% full, the battery. So I plugged it in, left it in overnight all the way through the next day until it got completely charged. And the estimate on the screen would kind of fluctuate between about 180 minutes worth of remaining battery up to like 193. Now I will point out here, I'm not drawing a whole lot of power and actually the screen, it gives you a view of the amount of wattage that your devices are consuming at any given time that are on that battery backup side. And mine typically fluctuate between 15 and 16 watts which is not a lot of power at all the nice thing is ideally you could plug this into like a computer and a monitor and you could use that for a little while but it's going to be much more wattage that it's going to consume which means that battery is not going to last for near as long but man after a day i was really excited to unplug this ups from the wall and just see how long it would last providing that internet connectivity that i needed to be able to do standard tasks. As a part of my day job, I do work from home, so I'm on Zoom all day long. So internet is absolutely essential for all that I do. And I did this test with the battery backup, just doing normal load usage of the internet throughout the day. I had streaming going on on another device at the same time. And guys, as you can see with this result here, this UPS was able to power my AT&T ONT, the modem, and my primary Google Wi-Fi puck for two hours, 41 minutes, and nine seconds. So I didn't get the full 180 minutes out of it that I was hoping for, but 161 is not bad at all, especially, again, in my situation where typically power outages aren't very long, they're not super extended, they usually happen during severe weather, and over two hours worth of connectivity for me to have during a power outage gives me everything that I need to stay informed, stay safe as whatever severe weather is happening. So guys, APC is not a sponsor. I paid for this 100% out of pocket. And guys, I cannot tell you how thrilled I am with these results. I'm super happy about it. I feel like I have another layer of security that ensures that I'm able to stay connected during any type of a situation like a natural disaster. So the question, if I had Ring Alarm Pro, would I go with the power pack over something like this? I'm still gonna say no because I like the versatility of this UPS and the fact that I can really plug anything into it. I'm not limited to just the Ring Alarm Pro base station. This would work with any device that you can plug in to a standard 120 volt outlet. But guys, tell me about your experience. If you have purchased a UPS, I'd love to hear about what your experience has been like. And if you haven't already, I'd ask you to consider liking and subscribing and hitting that bell notification so that you're always staying up to date with new content as it's uploaded. But for now, I'm Donnie with Tech Winner, helping you make winning decisions when it comes to your tech. You guys have a great day.